Okay, welcome back to another video on the Maths channel. It's your teacher, Ms. Lim here, and in this video, we're going to be looking at surface area and volume of spheres. So by the end of this lesson, we'll be able to calculate the surface area and volume of spheres and hemispheres. So let's first have a look at the surface area of a sphere. Now, the surface area of a sphere depends on its radius and is given by the formula. The surface area is equal to 4 pi r squared. So this pi r squared should look familiar to you. That's the area of a circle. The surface area of a sphere, which is the total area on the outside of the sphere, is actually equal to 4 circles. So 4 pi r squared. The volume of a sphere also depends on its radius, and it's given by this formula. V is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cubed. Now, a lot of students uh, get confused and they write down the wrong formula in exams. Sometimes they might write 4 pi r cubed or 4 and 3 pi r squared. This is how I memorize it. I know area is always in square units, like centimeter squared, meter squared, millimeter squared, so it's r squared. Volume is in cubic units, you know, centimeters cubed, meters cubed, millimeters cubed, so it's r cubed. Okay, so know which one belongs to which. All right, so let's have a look at some examples. Find the surface area and volume of a sphere of radius 7 centimeters, correct to 2 dp. So surface area is equal to 4 pi r squared. Let's get in the habit of writing the formulas down. 4 pi times the radius, in this case it's 7. And we'll put that in our calculator. 615.75 centimeters squared, because it's centimeters. Whereas volume, which is 4 on 3 pi r cubed, is equal to 4 on 3 pi times 7 cubed. which is 1436.76 centimeters cubed. All right, let's have a go with question two, but I might just change the question instead of correct to 2dp, let's, um, let's write find the exact area. Find the exact area, surface area and volume. All right, so let's get you see a question like this. Find the exact surface area and volume of a sphere with a diameter of 13 meters. So surface area, 4 pi r squared. 4 pi times the diameter is 13, so the radius is half of that, which is 6.5. So if we want the exact answer, we do not type the pi in the calculator, we just type everything else. 4 times 6.5 squared, 169, so that's 169 pi. So we put the pi in the answer. 169 pi meters squared. Volume, 4 on 3 pi r cubed, 4 on 3 times pi times the radius is 6.5, cubed. So in our calculator, 4 on 3 times 6.5 cubed, we don't type the pi in. That gives us a fraction, 2197 on 6, so we'll just put the pi at the top. Always put pi at the top. 2197 pi on 6 meters cubed. And that's the exact volume. Alright, pause the video, have a go with question 3 and 4, it's just simple algebra now, have a go. Alright, so question 3, find the radius of, of a sphere with volume 10 meters cubed, correct to 2dp. So we know volume is equal to 4 on 3 pi r cubed, we know the volume is 10 so I'm going to replace 10 
I'm going to substitute it with, sorry, I'm going to replace V with 10. Okay, let's times both sides by 3 to get rid of that fraction. So that will give me 30 is equal to 4 pi r cubed. Let's now divide by 4 pi to get my r cubed by itself. So 30 on 4 pi will give me r cubed. And now we can say r is equal to the cube root of 30 on 4 pi. Oops, on 4 pi. Which is 1.34. meters. Okay, because it's meters cubed. So the units for this radius, which is our length, is just meters. And you can always double check your answers if you're unsure. So if we were to do 4 on 3 times pi times the 1.34 cubed, because I rounded, it won't be exact, but it should be very close to 10. Yeah. All right, question four. Find the volume of a sphere if its surface area is 153.94. So surface area is 4 pi r squared. We know that the surface area is 153.94, so I'm going to replace SA, surface, uh, the surface area, with that number. I'm going to divide both sides by 4 pi. So give me r squared, and then I'm going to square root both sides to get me r. So it looks like the radius is 3.5. Now this is centimeters squared, so this will be centimeters. Have we answered the question? No, the question is asking for the volume of the sphere. Volume is equal to 4 on 3 pi r cubed, which in this case is 4 on 3 times pi times 3.5 cubed, because we've worked out the radius already. The radius is 3.5. And now we can type that into the calculator. One seven nine point five nine. Centimeters cubed. Okay, let's have a look at hemispheres. So we know hemispheres is pretty much half of a sphere, um, but it can be classified as either being open or closed. So open means that there's no lid, so there's there's no circle for the base. Um, and if there's no circle, the surface area is technically just the curved bit, the curved bit, the curved area that goes around the, the hemisphere. So in that case, the surface area is just 2 pi r squared. It's equivalent of two circles instead of four. However, if the surface area, if the hemisphere is closed, we do include that circle. So the curved surface plus the circle is technically 2 pi r squared plus pi r squared is equivalent of three circles, 3 pi r squared. Now, if a question doesn't specify whether it's open or closed, we assume it's closed. Okay. So let's have a look at question 5 and 6. Find the surface area and volume of an open hemisphere of radius 7 centimeters corrected to dp and find the surface area of a closed hemisphere corrected to dp if its volume is 499.15 cubic millimeters. Pause the video and have a go with these two questions yourself. Alright, so surface area. This is an open hemisphere, which is 2 pi r squared. That's equal to 2 pi times, well, the radius is 7. Through 
307.88. Now I might just write this in exact form as well as in uh, round it to two decimal places so you can just get used to it. So if I was to do exact form, I'll just do 2 times 7 squared, which is 98. So it's 98 pi. And that's centimeters squared, that's exact. Or if I want to round that, I would have gotten 307. 0.88 that's a 2 dB volume is just half of a full hemisphere which is 4 on 3 pi r cubed so let's put that in the calculator half of 4 on 3 times pi times 7 cubed is 718.38 centimeters cubed. All right, so that's 2dp. Two, two if I wanted it exact, I might actually put that in. So let me just move this. Here. And let's just write the exact. So exact will be half of 4 and 3. Don't type the pi. Which is 6, 8, 6 and 3. So we'll put the pi at the top. And that's exact. Okay, so question 6. Find the surface area of a closed hemisphere correct to two decimal places. If its volume is 499.15 cubic millimeters. So volume, because this is a hemisphere, is half of 4 on 3 pi r cubed. Now we can see here that the volume is 499.15, so I'm going to replace a v with that. Actually, I might just mul multiply this out. So 4 on 6, which is 2 thirds. All right, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 3 to get rid of the fraction. 1497.45 is equal to 2 pi r cubed. I'm going to divide both sides by 2 pi. And I'm going to cube root both sides. So, what is this equal to? Six point two. Okay, six point two millimeters. Have we answered the question? No, the question is asking us to work out surface area. Surface area of a closed hemisphere is equal to three pi r squared. So we've got three pi times the 6.2 squared which is 362.29 millimeters squared all right so that's it for this video so let's just recap what we've learned okay so in this lesson we looked at how to calculate the surface area and volume of spheres and of hemispheres so it's important for you to remember we need a radius. If we're given the diameter, please halve it to work out the radius. When looking at the formula, remember with a, a what power we use for the radius. Squared if it's surface area, cubed if it's volume. Be mindful about um, whether the hemisphere is open or closed because it's going to affect surface area. But volume, we're just going to use half of four. 4 and 3 pi r cubed. Okay, so whether it's open or closed, it's just half of that. All right, so that's it for this video. If you found this uh, video helpful, um, please give it a like. If you have any questions, just comment down below. And uh, if you would like more content like this, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. See you.